Hello, we are here. <laughs> we are in our new home. We are um, I'm just adoring my um, my new light shade. Look, isn't it ace? It's gorgeous. And I've got my pink curtains up and yeah, it's going to be all girly and gorgeous. I mean, not too overly girly because obviously <laughs> I've got my lad, but, um, you know, it's going to be all the way I want it and looking nice and gorgeous and fabulous. At the minute, it's a bit chaotic. As you can see, we're surrounded by crap everywhere. Boxes and boxes galore, aren't we? Hey, what a mess. <laughs> what a mess. Cat paradise. Look at her face. <gasps> You're not too impressed. Well, you don't mind, actually. Eh? We had to leave the cats behind at the house whilst the vans brought our stuff over. Um, and I do say loosely um, because they actually were rob dog buggers that came. They came with two small vans Um and inside was a worker in each one that was driving the van. So, and then they were kept complaining that they want to be off soon. I want to get going soon. And I thought, I've paid for a slot. You know, I'm annoyed that the fact that you've actually got um, booked yourselves for something else that's quite a drive away. And, you know, here we are. Um, you're supposed to be doing my job not sort of clock watching and wanting to be off for something else. There's Gizmo. Yesy. Look at all these empty when these boxes when they're empty. <gasps> You're gonna be able to enjoy yourself, aren't you? Look at all this cardboard we're gonna have. <gasps> Cats love boxes. They love them. Um yeah. It's an absolute chaos at the minute, but all good fun. We've got the EE chap coming over at some point. <laughs> um, yeah. And he's going to be sorting out the internet and phone line, make sure it's all working and everything. Uh, I have cleared a path so we can get to the bits. Um, look at your mountaineering. You're exploring, aren't you? Minnie's hiding in this. Well, I was able to show you till I also put a big head in the way, <laughs> didn't you? Eh? Yeah, so she's in the, in the TV cupboard at the moment. At the back, you've got the uh, cutout where the, uh, the cables can go, and it's nice and big. So the cat's like climbing through there, and it must be big for many to be able to fit in there. Um, so, yeah, that's what they, they do. Um. But yeah, the cats, it was a bit chaotic for them yesterday, very stressful for them. They were really, really panicky and hyperventilating and everything. And then they calmed down a bit when uh, we brought them over in stages. I had to do three runs to the house to go and fetch them. And uh, they were um, calming down then, you know, once they'd had a bit of an explore round and everything. And, um, you know... Once they've found familiar stuff like the furniture, um, the sofa that's in bits but still smells of home and all the rest of it, they were okay. Um, yeah, it is a bit chaotic. When it's all calmed down a bit, I'll do a bit of a guided tour of our home. But obviously I'm not going to give too much away um, because obviously... Um, my abusive ex that's been stalking and not very happy over the fact that we've we're moving on and uh he doesn't know where to look and all that so I don't want to give obviously bits that are going to give me away to start him up again um so I've got to be careful on what I film and show people on the internet um but hey you know it's it's going to be good at the moment, it's chaos everywhere. Um, Luna's sleeping, finally. She was in hiding. I think she'd gone underneath the backs of the chairs in her little hidey hole that she likes to go in. Um, yeah. So, oh, it's just 
a lot to deal with. And I know we've been packing and moving things for a month, but um, it's still a lot to actually, um, yeah, to deal with, with my health issues as well. So that's why I'm sat down now, um, because my knees, my feet, my legs, my back, my hands are just shaking and so angry and painful. I just want to sit and cry, to be honest, but, um, yeah. But, yeah, these removal guys that we had were absolutely useless. Um, they came with two small vans and loaded things up, and then they were becoming very pitic. They wanted to be off for this next job that's... Uh, they do do very big house moves and all the rest of it, and they probably decided to cherry pick, um, you know, the job to get out faster. And then it was like, oh, there's this and there's this and there's this. And they've left loads behind. So, yeah, we've had to sort out another van and get things done. And so I don't want to be going backwards and forwards. We're going to be going back once more today. Um, have one final look round and then I want to get the keys dropped in um, at the housing and just get everything put away um, and you know sort of put to bed if you like I just want to put a lid on the village life that we've had and start afresh now with new memories and just enjoy it um, but yeah, loads of my stuff, my garden bits that I was bringing with me, my planters and stuff, my garden, little bistro furniture that I've got that folds up. Um, all that was left behind. They weren't interested in taking things like a big wardrobe. There was, um, I had drawers, my bedside tables, I had lamps, um, there was just loads and then there was loads of my mobility stuff as well my disability stuff that I use all that was there there was boxes of things left my medical stuff was all left um and they kept phoning up and telling their boss that uh, they didn't want to uh they were going oh we need to go in a minute um to go on to this next job which probably was a very big job and a lot of money but you know what I wasn't very impressed with the fact that they've sort of double booked themselves thinking, oh, this ain't going to take that long. But honestly, I'd have thought if you supply more men, you're going to get through the job a bit quicker. But they wanted to supply one man with a van and use my son as well, to, which I thought you shouldn't be doing that really because he's not insured to be able to lug furniture and stuff around. They are as part of their job and training of what they're, you know, made to do. But anyway, so that's uh, that was yesterday. Today's been about sort of tying up all the loose ends, going and, you know, getting this van sorted out and collecting up everything else. And then this weekend it will be about um, activating the sky and getting the um, the e e the EE box sorted out with the internet and everything, um, getting all that done. And then take a deep breath and start over now. Start making new memories. Right, I'm going to love and leave because I've got stuff to do and things to sort out. So I shall say thanks for looking and for any messages and stuff um but we'll be i'll do some vids soon um but the cats are slowly starting to get used to things they're nestling themselves on bits of furniture that is comfortable for them and familiar you know all that sort of stuff so yeah but oh never again never again moving is so hard and I'm so so painful now you know every joint is hurting like anything in my knees my legs I'm struggling to just stand for a minute and um, just to because the pain's unreal right let's get a few things done I think
so I'm going to say draw for now and maybe do a vid in a few days, something like that. Okay, bye guys, bye.